Thanks for checking out Course Envy. Please take one second to like, subscribe, and comment anything below. These three things are the key to getting your videos to rank higher in YouTube search results. So before I create a top of funnel ad on Facebook, I want to discuss my sales funnel. So a Facebook sales funnel is all about converting those cold customers, they've never heard of your brand, piquing their interest, and then turning them into a customer. So on average, this takes seven touch points or seven ads, seven times of them seeing your brand, your content, your Facebook page, your Instagram. So this starts with brand awareness ads or traffic ads. This is to get people engaging with your brand, your content. This is when you can share those behind the scenes, maybe tutorials, how to's, you baking your product. This is that inspiring shareable content. Now you want to retarget those warm audiences with traffic ads. You want to get them to your website and get them looking at your products, getting them adding things to cart, therefore building up those pixels further. The add to cart pixel, the purchase pixel, the website traffic pixel. So again, we can retarget these people or this pixel to close the sale, target them with a promotion via a conversion ad with our goal of a purchase saying, Hey, 20% off today. Here's a recent review from one of our customers saying why they love our product. So always look at your ads as a funnel. So one software I love to pair with my Facebook ads is AdRoll. So it's AdRoll.com makes retargeting easier for big e-commerce brands, people who have multiple products and can use AdRoll's artificial intelligence to power your dynamic ads. So this is retargeting people specifically who looked at XYZ product everywhere on the internet. Not only Facebook, but Instagram, Google search, third party websites. They have a list of all 500 websites their ads appear on. So literally your brand can be everywhere. So you need to feed these retargeting pixels on AdRoll. And by feed, I mean give it more people, more people to retarget. So how do we do that? We build top of funnel ads on Facebook. So in order for ad roll to work well, we need to be feeding it 1000 plus people a month so they can retarget and finish working them down the funnel via their dynamic ads and their retargeting ads to close the sale. So let's create some top of funnel ads on Facebook. So just go to your ads manager, just in the top left here, ads manager. Then we'll click this create button. So for this specific website, it has pretty good traffic, 1000 plus organic users a month coming from our Facebook page, coming from our Instagram. So the brand awareness is there. If you have extra budget, great. Start some brand awareness ads, create some more traffic ads. But we have enough warm people that we've created lookalike audiences already. Remember, I like 1,000 people before I create a lookalike. So we have 8,000 on our Facebook, 26,000 on our Instagram. Those are great for lookalike audiences. So I'm ready for conversions. I want to get people to my website and minimally be A, building out that website traffic pixel, people coming to my website so ad roll can retarget them dynamically for each product they went to. But B, I can also build out my other pixels at this time. Like getting people to add things to the cart, like getting people to purchase. So I always use conversion ads with the goal of add to cart. That's a lot easier than a purchase, right? So the goal of add to cart with the bonus of hopefully we get some purchases and the second bonus of building out our traffic pixel. So ad roll can retarget for us. So let's click conversion, scroll down. Now let's name this conversion, add to cart, ATC, our brand, brand acronym there. And then we're gonna go top of funnel, TOF. So now I know right away, this is a conversion for add to cart for this brand name, top of funnel. 
So I'm going to be creating quite a few ad sets. So I'll toggle this off and then click continue. I want to budget at each ad set level rather than the campaign level. So continue. So I want to name this ad set in accordance to what top of funnel audience I am targeting. It's at the ad set level is where the targeting is, audience placement, so on. So I'll select my first one and then name this ad set accordingly. And by default, that conversion is add to cart. We could change this if we want, but that is the one we wanted, add to cart. That's the conversion goal for this ad. So website, add to cart, we're good here, custom audience. So there's a few custom audiences I like to target for top of funnel. Specifically lookalikes, especially if a brand already has some decent traffic on their website. So I've already created these lookalikes via up here, all tools, audiences. Audiences is where you can create audiences of users who have visited your website, who have added things to their cart. And then we can create lookalike audiences, or rather let Facebook create these lookalike audiences based on the people who are in our pixel. So I've already done that, and I'll show you the few I like to use. Lookalike audience, so I've starred the ones I like. So this is a lookalike audience in the United States, niching down to the 1% of the United States. As you can see, the size over here is 2 million. So just 1%. So I like that. It's highly focused. I'm forcing Facebook to go out and find users very similar to the custom audience I created a lookalike audience of. So as you can see, lookalike, my website, visitors. So all the visitors in the last 90 days to this website is the original custom audience I pulled from my pixel. The pixel is collecting those users, right? So I had Facebook create a lookalike of this audience. So that's a great top of funnel. It's people who are coming to my website. They obviously are interested in the brand. So let's let Facebook go out and find people who look like those visitors. So we'll select that. That's our top of funnel. Now I'm going to create other ad sets using these other prime lookalike audiences. Add to cart people for the past 180 days. Purchase people for the past 180 days. I look like people who like my Instagram, people who like my Facebook page. Great audiences that we can tell Facebook to go find more people of. And then target for the top of funnel. Because remember, AdRoll is already retargeting the actual website visitor, the actual add to cart people. They're retargeting those people who are actually on your website. For top of funnel, I want to find other people. Ad rolls handling the people who are on my site. I'm feeding that funnel with lookalike people, okay? So remember, with split testing, only one variable at a time. So I'm going to test one custom audience at a time. So this one's going to be Look alike, 1% website visitors past 90 days. So conversion website, okay, so I know United States, we're gonna leave this broad, 18 to 65. I'm gonna uncheck this because I want it specific to my um, look alike. And we're good. Now this is one area you can split test, but since I'm using AdRoll and I know they're hitting all these audience networks, typically, a few of these are on Facebook's audience network as well. Let's unselect that. I really only care about Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger. We're going to let AdRoll manage our audience network, those 500 plus websites where we can appear as a banner ad. So that's good. Scroll down. Now, here's our daily budget for this specific ad set. So I want Facebook to work as hard as possible at each ad set I create. So sometimes I'll create up to 10, 20 ad sets and then varying ads below each of those. So let's really make them work for each dollar. Let's go with $5 for this. And then like I showed you, I'm gonna retarget minimally four or five different custom audiences, these look like audiences. So there's our $5, $5, $5 we can easily get up to that $25 per day ad spend. And then we can slowly scale those up as we see success for each ad campaign. So maybe the visitor lookalike creates the most 
What's our conversion goal? Add to carts. Maybe retargeting our Instagram gets us the most add to carts. We don't know until we test. So that's why I'm going to split test each one of these look like audiences at the ad set level. So let's scroll down. We're good. $5 daily budget at the ad set level here. And remember, I want to let these ads run continuously. I'll toggle off the losers if they're not performing well. That's fine. And let's leave this default conversions optional. That's okay. So scroll down, continue. Okay, so next we want to name our ad. So again, as we build out more and more ads, if we just left it the default, this will be harder to track when we're looking at our ads manager reporting if it's the same for each ad. So as I add an image, maybe I'll give a descriptive of what image I'm using. XYZ product shot, XYZ lifestyle image, and so on. But for this example, I'm going to just leave it default. Just note that's one more layer of easily identifying your ads when looking at your ads manager reporting. So this is another area I love to split test. Specifically, carousels and single image or video. Carousels are a great way to see which image is quickly doing well. And if you have multiple products, I've seen with multiple clients, this perform a lot better. Just because people like swiping through and looking at the varying products you offer. But for this one, I know we have a single product offering and we have some varieties of that image and even a video that we can use for this ad copy. So we'll select single image or video, come down here, add media, add image, select this, click continue. And now if we want to split test multiple images, we can do that right here by adding an image. So we'll add an ad number two. So we'll split test at the image level. So let's do that now. So there we go. We have our four ad variable images for this ad. And we can come back later if we want and turn into a video. Edit image, delete image, clear image, and then add the media that we want, whether that's video or a different image. So now scroll down and fill out your ad copy. So I filled out my ad copy here. One thing I see you do very well for e-commerce clients is just simply stating a review. Completely obsessed with this cookie butter, so tasty. I love the dirty cookie. And then those five star emojis. Enter, what's the value proposition? 20% off today only. Another emoji to separate it, cookie butter four pack. And then our headline, again, the value proposition, cookie butter four pack, 20% off, which leads their eyes to that call to action button, shop now. So call to action. Get offers, another one I see good results with, but this one makes sense for shop now. So there's our website URL, our display link, how we want it to display in the ad here. We can scroll through and look at what, how it appears in these other uh, formats, whether that's stories, desktop, mobile. So this looks great. So let's look at our other ad set. So let's look at it with our other images. As you can see, here's our images, or we can look at previews right here. Add 404. 104, there it is, add one. Add one looks good, two. A little more color in that one, great. Okay, awesome. So now we are split testing this ad set, this custom audience we selected here, that look alike, with four different images using the same ad copy. So again, we get to take this one step further and split test our ad copy, our actual text, our headline our call to action button, and so on. So I'll show you how to duplicate these ads if you want to create those split tests. But if you're confident in your ad copy and just want to test some images, great. We're good to go here. So let's scroll down, make sure we have our pixel selected, and now just click Confirm. So now our ads are published. As you can see, the three tiers here Campaigns, ad sets, ads, same thing here. Campaign, campaign name, ad set name, and our four ad variations. 
So now what I want to do is I want to create a duplicate for this ad set because remember we're only targeting this first lookalike. We want to target every one of our lookalikes so we can see which lookalike targeting option is getting us the best results, the cheapest cost per click, the most add to carts, whatever metric we're focusing on. So click duplicate. And now original campaign, we want to leave it under this main campaign. We just want to add another ad set under this campaign. So think of it as tiers, campaign, ad sets are under campaigns and ads come under ad sets. So original campaign, number of copies. So I know I at least have five lookalikes. So I've already targeted one. Let's create four copies. So four copies so I can target these varying lookalikes for feeding my top of funnel traffic. So let's duplicate those. So there we go, there's our four duplicates. So we wanna go one at a time now, so unselect this. So this first one, click edit. And now as you can see, it was already open. I can close that just to show you, edit. So, we want to test our second lookalike. So what's our second lookalike here? Scroll down. So lookalike we've already done. Website visitors, 90 days. Let's unselect that. Click here, lookalike. So we did this one. Next one, add to cart. So okay, this is a lookalike for the website, add to cart people for the past 180 days. So let's change the name of this ad set. Okay, that looks good. Great, now on to the next one. Unselect this guy, edit. Okay, so we are in the second one now. Same thing, it says copy, right? So let's cross this one out. New lookalike. So we've done visitors, we've done add to cart. My other favorite one, lookalike of the website purchases. People who have purchased in the last 180 days. I'm telling Facebook to go look for people who are like my current customers. So select that. Okay, we're great there. Now again, we wanna make sure to be able to identify that ad set. We know what we're targeting right away. Okay, looks good. One more to do, right? So click edit there. Okay, scroll down. Again, everything's good. Let's X that out. Custom audiences look alike. What's my last one? Instagram. You know what? I actually forgot one audience, but that's fine. I'll show you how to do it. So now we're targeting Instagram lookalikes. Facebook is going out and looking for people who are like my current Instagram followers great and engagement just in general people who are engaged with my Instagram so we're good here let's copy that name okay great so like I said I forgot one audience I have my add to cart I have my purchase I have my Instagram I have my visitors visitors 90 days let's see I have a duplicate here. Let's make sure. What I did forget was my, oh, oh no. Okay, cool. So I thought I, thought I didn't have enough audiences because I do have one more custom audience I like to target. It's my Facebook. So here it is. People who like this website Facebook page. Great. Now we have our varying audiences. All the lookalikes I like to target. Great, great, great. Okay, so now again, campaigns, they are the top. This is a campaign for conversions with a goal of add to cart for this website, top of funnel. So our first ad set is targeting add to carts. Second, purchasers. Third, Instagram audience. Fourth, Facebook page. And fifth, websites visitors, a lookalike of them for the past 90 days. So these are my five favorite lookalikes 
for filling the top of funnel so I can build up the traffic to my website and therefore let ad roll take it from there with their artificial intelligence and dynamic ad retargeting all over the web to close the sale so now we review and publish and then I come back in three to five days or once the impressions hit 1000 to review which ad set is performing the best which ad set is driving the highest ad to carts the lowest cost per click and has the highest relevancy scores so quality ranking engagement ranking and conversion rate ranking so it's kind of a trifecta once I hit a thousand impressions that's enough people for me to review an ad to see oh how are the ad to carts doing scroll over how are the link clicks and then finally what's the cost per result the add to cart results and the relevancy so let's review and publish all these split tests so one note here you'll see fix error I did have some portrait images that were just readily available I didn't upload the exact images I wanted for this ad but we can eventually go in and change those so let's just start with this portrait one but note like I said we can go in and change those images and further split test and optimize for images videos and so on this large split test is just a great way to start creating that top of funnel traffic then we can get into the nitty-gritty details and split test those images and ad copy videos and so on so let's just click publish okay great we're published now these are in review like I said check back every couple days or once your impressions reach 1000 and then review your metrics to see which ad set is performing the best and then you can toggle off the losers expand this we can even toggle off the losing ad images so say this one's just performing poorly no ad to carts but this one's crushing it great let's toggle off these three and focus everything on this and maybe even scale up our budget if we're confident and ready and remember don't scale up your budget too fast 20 to 30 percent each week is enough Facebook seems to find a way to burn your money if you give it too much so slowly feed it and increase those budgets of the successful campaigns and then remember to be in touch with your ad roll manager if you're spending over 500 a month here they will manage creating your ad images and implementing the retargeting and dynamic ads for your e-commerce brand